Hey folks, Justin Seitz here from AutomatingOSINT.com and today I'm going to show you very easily how to get PIP installed for uh, your Mac OS X machine and then also how to install the request library using it. So the first thing you can do is there's a very useful script called get PIP uh, that you can download from this website right here, bootstrap.pypa.io slash get dash PIP dot pi and then what you're going to want to do is drop into your terminal so on Mac that means you go to the applications folder uh, go to utilities and then click on terminal and once you're there simply use the curl so curl is just a way to issue HTTP requests from your command line so we're going to use curl to download the get pip script and here we're just redirecting the output so that it stores it uh, in a script locally and so this is an actual Python script. Now the great thing about Mac OS X is it's going to come with Python pre-installed. So what we need to do is now execute that script. So you go sudo python and then get pip. And of course because you issued sudo that means you're running the command as administrator. You're going to need to enter your password. And once we've done that, you can see that the get pip script is actually reaching out over the internet and downloading some required modules. And we're done. So now in order to use pip to install libraries, you use the simple command line of sudo pip install and then the module name. So in this case, we're going to grab requests. So that's pretty easy. Now we can actually drop into a uh, Python shell and verify that requests is actually installed properly. So we import the request module. And then we're going to issue a, a, a HTTP GET request to the automatingosint.com website. And if everything works properly, then we should get back a 200 for a status code, meaning that everything is all good. And there we have it. It's all good. And we can exit our Python shell by just typing exit and two parentheses. And there you have it. So the great thing is now we are actually fully set up to install any libraries that you really need. So if you read the blog series or you're in part of the training courses, uh, you'll notice that I'm always getting uh, new modules installed or asking you to install modules that you might not already have. PIP is the de facto way of doing that. So I will be doing a similar tutorial for Windows, but in advance of that, please don't hesitate to send me any questions. It's Justin at automatingosint.com and thank you for watching.